so just a 36 inch daub we're gonna be walking over here to look through that later but uh it's getting dark out and uh, the stars are gonna start start popping out we've got to rush back to our campsite uh, to get up and running and it's getting freezing out actually <laughs> Pretty big, I guess. Big what? enough. <laughs> Pickle. So for those of you that don't know what this star party is all about, uh, basically on the east coast of uh, the United States, there's very few dark sky areas, as you as you can imagine, all the, uh, the big cities all the way along the east coast. For guys that live in Ontario, southern Ontario like me and all the guys uh, on the east coast of the states, this is as dark as it gets. Cherry Springs State Park. If you look at it on the light pollution map, it's this oasis of black skies. It's an experience like nothing else. Like if you're not from, a, you know, Australia or somewhere where you're, you know, a half hour drive away from the Milky Way across the sky, you've likely never seen the sky like this before. The Cherry Springs Star Party is in its 13th year run by the Harrisburg Astronomical Society. They're very strict about their uh, white light policy, so no white light, red light only, if that, and uh, you know, no loud music, no partying. This event is for astronomers, so dark, quiet, obser an observer's paradise, and astrophotographers. So it's important to be really respectful of that. One thing I forgot to mention about this park, what makes it so special, is the elevation. So you get the benefits of the uh, better transparency. You're basically on top of a mountain at Cherry Springs. You can check the weather report for, you know, colder sport and down there, but it's always different up here on, on the mountain. to uh, some familiar faces from back home in Canada. Shooting the talking for 20 minutes. Ashley's got the whole tent set up. I think I picked the right one. about seven o'clock. Uh, we're all settled in now, the tent's set up, the uh, equipment is set up. Ran into some familiar faces, uh, both from this star party and from other things like Neef. Uh, very cool people here, all here for the same reason. To get even one clear night here uh, is worth the drive. It looks like it's clearing up nicely. Funny enough, the, the two guys right next to me both have Ioptron CM60 mounts. Uh, they were giving me some pointers and we were kind of talking about the quirks of the mount and uh, the uh, the ED-140 is uh, capturing some some looks for sure. Cherry Springs State Park is an International Dark Sky Association Dark Sky Preserve, which is amazing that they're taking steps towards preserving the night sky for future generations and uh, they're really drawing attention to the negative effects of light pollution 
uh, that is all around us. So uh, it's just amazing to be at a place like this. And um, I don't know, how do those skies look to you? They look pretty blue and crispy clear to me. What do you think of Cherry Springs, Ash? It's good. Are you sad that we didn't get a shirt this year? Yeah. <laughs> they were sold out. Well, there's still a little bit of sun left. Mm-hmm. It's cooling off. Look at our luxurious quarters. Hey, the air mattress is fully inflated. That's all you need. I have an air mattress this year. And how late are you going to stay up with me? I don't know. Midnight. Midnight? Not late enough? I'm going to be up all night. That's a promise. I'll wake you up in the morning. I'll wake you up in the morning. Right, so I break it down to nebulas and galaxy B or you know narrowband, how many minutes and the combinations of stuff. So it just it takes the thinking out of it when you're in crunch time. Oh, look three at in the morning. Yeah, wow. it's around. Yeah, it's around three, three in the morning. But let me tell that's you, it's untouchable from home. Three a.m. last mm. night, it was gorgeous out. All right, so we're looking good. Everything's all set up. Everything's working. Like I said, I didn't forget anything. I'm all connected here. The camera I ended up bringing was the ZWO ASI 294, and then uh, the ED140. Because uh, why not? Of course, the CEM60. So right now, if you want to pull around. I'm just going to get this camera pre-cooled because sometimes that can take some time. I'll start with the cooling aid. And what I like to do is to just not make it work too hard. I'll start with minus 12, one degree at a time. When dusk set in, uh, sets in, I'll start my polar alignment and then my star alignment, which I'm also going to do at dusk when before it gets too populated with all the stars you see. That's the only negative of being at a place like this with the, a dark sky sight. Once nightfall sets in totally, finding an alignment star is almost impossible because there's just it's a sea of stars. They all look bright the way bright stars look at home. So I'm here with Kevin. Kevin Frederick. Kevin Frederick, and uh, he holds the title of having the biggest telescope on the field at Cherry Springs, which is saying a lot because it's all big telescopes. <laughs> Any of these scopes will show you images that are almost equivalent. Deep sky, you get a little brighter image, it's like Saturn if you have a six inch or 12 inch, it's basically. The basically wow factor is still there. Yes. yes, absolutely. So it isn't that, oh, this is, you know, it's, it has a little more power, but that's, it's just another telescope. It's just but it does telescope. have three times the stars of the 24. <laughs> 36 inches? Yeah. It's a three foot mirror. <laughs> Beautiful scope, Kevin. Thank you so much for showing it to me. And uh, I'll be back later to uh, look through it. Oh, we got a new stargazer there. It's go time. Right now it's about 1 a.m. Everything's going amazing. Got about almost two hours on the Triffid Nebula. 
through the ED140 with the ASI 294. I've got the Canon T3i with the wide angle Rokinon 14 millimeter lens on the Milky Way getting some two minute subs at ISO 1600 that look unbelievable. Aside from that, I'm walking around talking to people. I look through the 36 inch daub at um, M17, the Omega Nebula. You're gonna love this. Al Nagler was in line to look through the scope. He gets up to the eyepiece. If you don't know who Al Nagler is, he is the founder of Teleview Optics. He's a legend in this industry. He gets up to the eyepiece and looks through it and goes, holy sh <laughs> It was the best, the place erupted. That's coming from Al Nagler anyway.